The state's love of low taxes but desires for improvement are inevitably going to lead to a need for a new revenue stream, and gambling in some form has become a common fix for other states. But it's going to face opposition, not just from churches and conservative groups, but from one of the most well-funded groups that take part in the fight against gambling, other casinos. Casinos in nearby states, tribal casinos, and gambling halls that already operate in a legal gray area in Alabama have nothing to gain and everything to lose from gambling being legalized in this state. Hey folks, Dale Jackson here for Yellow Hammer. Now we've got to talk about Speaker of the House Nathaniel Ledbetter of the Alabama State House and his talk uh, about what's going on with gambling and what could come to the state uh, of Alabama. Now he appeared on Todd Stacey's uh, Capital Journal on Alabama Public Television and their conversation was pretty interesting. Before we get to it, let me remind you, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Hey, if you like these videos and you want them to spread, uh, that's how the whole thing works. Now, well, let's talk about this interview uh, these two had. There was one interesting thing said, and we will jump right to it, uh, about this, because the conversation, it turns out that we need to pass some form of legalized gambling. Otherwise, we may find ourselves in a situation where illegal gambling is running the show. You've got this ad hoc uh, committee that's been meeting about gambling, right. essentially kind of testing the waters, f feeling, okay, what might be feasible for the House to pass on lottery, on regulating casinos, on the sports betting thing? What's the latest you've heard from them, and do you, do you see something, a product coming maybe for next session? Yeah, I think, you know, they've done a tremendous job, and Chairman Witt has really worked hard at it. His committee's worked hard. I had not got the final report. He has given me updates. I think the most shocking thing to me, you know, we've talked about this last time, and there was like 30 illegal operations maybe. Well, by the time we got through, somebody said, well, maybe there's 70 now. And wow, these like little bingo. Yeah, a I little. Mean, I, I don't say bingo. They're really slot machines. And, yeah. And, and I do like, to be honest with you, that now we're all starting to adopt my theory that these are slot machines with extra steps and they never were bingo ever. So it's nice to hear. Uh, other people taking that on and, and, and pushing back uh, on this point. Uh, but he's about to get to a point about how many gambling machines there might actually be in the state and how much is actually happening. Some of them's behind shop and goes or yeah. uh, quick marks or stuff like that. And come to find out one county's got more than 67. So one county had more than what we thought was in the state. So all we're finding just about every county has got some illegal gaming operation. You know, and, you know, he has worked really hard. He's, he's went with the sheriffs and said, can you show me something? Can you tell me? And, and he saw about Andy Witt and his trip around the state where he went and looked at, at gambling things that were going on in the state. And, and I think that's fine and fair and, and perfectly wonderful to do. But we know there are 67 different illegal gambling facilities in one county alone. And there's some form of illegal gambling in every single county in the in the state well why aren't we shutting those down we're going to reward those people is that what we're going to do and and he's had a pretty good response from some of the sheriffs around the state but the problem with it is now the where we're at today if we do not do something about it and regulate it then all we're doing is enabling illegal gambling and it's gotten so rampant until we do something about it it's a it's a little scary because it's it's a it's almost an organization that's going to be uh, a legal organization, like a crime organization that's running these operations. That's what's already happening. You already have illegal crime running these operations. Why is the focus not more on shutting them down? We can do two things at once. Just accepting that there's illegal gambling all over the state, I don't think is appropriate. And I put it on the 67 sheriffs, and I put it on the attorney general, and I put it on the legislature too. Especially if they know it's out there. Now, now, they can talk about things they want to do. Expand gambling in the state. I, I actually support that. But what about the current lawbreakers? Are we going to try to hook them up? Or hook them up in handcuffs? That's the question I have about all of this. And, you know, it's without the true regulations, without a a commission to kind of support it and try to stop them, it's going to continue to grow. And listen, let's be honest, there's more out there than what the Attorney General can address. 
So I do think with regulations, there's got to be an enforcement piece with that. Mm-hmm. And yeah, he's uh, kind of playing whack a mole. Right? That's all, that's it. I mean, that's exactly what he's doing, and it's it's not easy to try to control. I mean, you know, with no stiffer than what the penalties are, they can shut down, take their machines out. Two weeks later, they'll be running again in the same stores because the penalties just aren't stiff enough. So I think regulation is a big key to it. And let's face it, you know, we've got gambling already, gambling already in our state. We have had for a number of years. I think it's time that we regulated it, quit giving the illegals the opportunity to really take money from more and more citizens in Alabama because that's what's happening. So I, I think this is just such a kind of a flawed argument. I, I really do. I just don't think that it's a very good argument at the end of the day. Yeah, I agree. We have these things in the state, and they're operating illegally. And what we should be doing is telling people that if you're operating illegally right now, you will never operate legally. We're not going to reward you for poor behavior, and we're not going to turn it over to you. And there should be a concerted effort to go after the people who are doing it illegally and they should be dropping the hammer on them. It's exactly what they should be doing. And if you fail uh, to get any new legalized gambling out there, I I bet you can go ahead and get some enforcement of the current law and up the penalties. You're the legislature. You're the speaker of the house. Go for it. I'd like to see that. If the people are operating outside the law, let's use the law to shut them down. And I know there are sheriffs in some of these counties that are looking the other way. Some of them are elected to look the other way. We know that. But I want to know what county has 67 illegal gambling operators. I'm going to guess it's Jefferson County, but I could be wrong on that. It could be Greene County. It could be another county. But let's just be real about it. If there's something illegal going on in this state, you don't reward the people doing it. So I, I just I didn't hear that in this conversation, but I do want to hear that from the individual lawmakers who are discussing this kind of stuff. I want to hear them say that they are interested in actually going after the people breaking the law right now. And then if, you know, six months from now they decide to pass a law that says uh, gambling is legal and here's how you do it, great. But what they're never going to do is say, hey, these little mom and pop gambling operations are legal. They're slot machines with extra steps. Those are never going to be legalized. You know, if anything, they're going to legalize bigger casinos, whether they let each county have one, uh, whether they let each congressional district have one, however they decide to do it, that's how it's going to go down. And there will be people who are uh, operating illegally or who have operated illegally who are going to try to benefit from that. They have to stop that from happening. So what their actual decision is, I have no idea what it is, uh, but I, I'm not compelled by the there's illegal gambling going on in the state, so we should allow more of it. That doesn't really do anything for me. I don't know if that moves legislators. I guess that's a conversation we're all going to have to have as we get closer here. But what I am hearing is gambling's on the table, and they're trying to get to a yes. What that yes looks like, well, that remains to be seen because we're not hearing any real ideas yet. We'll hear that as this gambling committee or commission Uh, puts out whatever their report is, but I think we're going to see one of the arguments that's been shown here is it's already here, let's regulate it and tax it. Because that's what it's really all about. He talks about how we're going to let these people take money uh, from individuals uh, in these different markets and take that money from hardworking Alabamians. Well, we're going to do that anyway. If we pass gambling laws, we're just going to let the state take a cut too. I mean, that's what it's really all about. So uh, the woe is the people argument doesn't really work on me. The, hey, uh, it's already happening, so let's legalize it argument doesn't really work on me either. And how about the people want this in some form? Let's figure out a way we can get it passed and go from there.